Hey guys, HX22 here, working on that Rusty Auto 5. Got some parts in the mail today that I think are going to work. Um, I got this. This is a nickel silver casting for a uh, old school muzzle loader butt plate. Um, it's kind of rough. It's going to need a lot of finish work. <laughs> um, drilling some holes. Probably clean it up with... Uh, a belt sander and some files and then polish it out. It's going to be invo it's going to be a lot of work, but totally worth it. Um, if instead of being, you know, just a straight sawed off, we actually put this butt plate set it into the wood here and had that kind of a look to it. Um, I think it'll work. Uh, may need may need quite a bit of shaping. I may have to call in for some help. Um, particularly on the top part of this. I think I can, I think I should be able to, to cut it short and then, um, you know, sand that curvature into the rear so that it fits, you know, nicely there. But, um, I don't know about inletting for that, for that shape up top. That's going to be, that's going to be some work and I may have to find somebody that's got better tools than I do. Uh, maybe even a set of chisels, but man, that's going to be—it's going to be a you know an Auto Five whip it gun, but with a, a nice touch of class to it. You know these these uh, buttstock castings are only like fifteen bucks, even for the nickel silver ones. Um, I also got this brass one here, but I don't think the uh, I don't think that's going to work as well. It's for a much larger stock. I was originally actually thinking about using it something like this you know but uh yeah that other one this one just works that one just works right here right like that so tommy gun grip up front uh, machine brass block holding the tommy gun grip piece of uh copper pipe replacing the forend with the tommy gun grip underneath it and then just this little look right there. That's going to be gorgeous. Uh, I ordered some brass plate, a jeweler's saw, and some saw blades so we can try doing the uh, wrist re reinforcement slash repair. Um, got the pattern already made for that. You saw that in the earlier video. It's going to be a lot of work, but, you know, this is going to just be an amazing amazing little toy when we're done um, and if it wasn't you know a little bit challenging where's the fun in it right mechanically these guns are just so uh, so damn durable that uh, you know the repair work really really is all com cosmetic and this one's not going to be restorable to being pretty so we might as well make it interesting yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to add a real touch of class over a lot of the other Whippet guns you see. Um, half tempted to do two of these with uh, since I got that spare one. You really don't know what this is going to look like until it shows up. I don't know what I want to put that on, but I want to put it on something. It's just such a good idea. Anyway, that's, uh, that's where we're at. Um, I'll keep you guys posted as the parts keep rolling in. I'm having a hell of a time finding a chunk of 1.25 inch uh, M copper pipe. I need about a foot of that, foot to 18 inches of it. And um, the only place I've been able to find it, I need to buy a full stick, which I really don't want to buy 60 bucks worth of copper pipe just so that I can see if something's going to work. So, I'm going to keep looking. Anyway, that's where we're at. Have a good one.